know what city with Florida Free, saying on the Denver Cutter, if you're on the SPL Network, thank you for tuning in, my name is Dark. Uh, I don't, I don't know what that was. I'm sorry if that was loud. I didn't realize that wasn't muted for whatever reason. Anyway, we're at the Igloo. Look at all the cars. There's people here to watch this one. That's not Hershey. Don't believe what you see on the screen. Anyway, let's get to know the rosters on the ice for this one. For the Denver Cutthroats, Wade's not in town. Camion's kind of running the show for them. They're 1-5 and five on the season. They're taking on the Florida Freeze. They're kind of a... They're kind of a big deal. They're a little bit of a big deal. They're kind of, they, they do, they, they like the slap, they like the shot. Uh, I don't know if they re and also bound, but uh, we'll find that out later tonight. Uh, Bay captaining the team. Jay Perks, Kazi, Frowny Brownie, and Con are all around for tonight's game. From my knowledge, um, whoever the starting lineup will be, I'll relay that to you whenever it comes time. Uh, four of the five are already in the lobby. Kazi, Bay, Frowny, Brownie, and Khan, let it be known for the record. Of course, for the Denver Cutthroats, they'll be on the left side of your screen wearing the black and the green. Wade's not in town, so K-Man, kind of being the fill-in captain for this one, has Rat, Smeggy, and Dat Boy. what up, to uh, to uh, pull from for the talents agency tonight. We'll see uh, We'll see what they ride with, what they lean with, what they rock with. Um, taking a look at the standings, the Florida Freeze have, uh, have put themselves in a pretty uh, good spot. I don't know any other way. To, they're game out of first. If they win this, they'll have a chance to leapfrog over the Windake Trappers. Uh, whether or not they do that is uh, up to uh, up to tonight's matchup. Of course, the Florida Freeze later on this week uh, have themselves a date uh, with nobody. They, this is their last game of the week. They're looking to finish it off with a little bit of a high note. Earlier this week, they had themselves an 11-1 victory over the Bullets. Today at 8, we didn't get to watch that one as I had a game going on. And then the Windick Trappers actually beat the Florida Freeze to hand them their second loss of the season. So that's why they are currently only 6-2 and two instead of 7-1. and one. Windick having the tiebreaker will remain in first place regardless of whatever the result of this game is. But if the Denver Cutthroats can pull this one out, they'll put themselves even farther out of that relegation spot at the bottom of the division. New Jersey Bullets, unfortunately, not having the season going their way so far. Mystic Spirits might play a game this season. I guess that's still up for debate. But um, yeah. It's uh, taking a look at the trend in the two in the two teams' previous five. Florida having one loss to Wendake, but they won the prior. I think it was five in a row, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, Wendake Trappers four two difference. Denver going on a three game losing streak, looking to snap it here tonight. First of those three was against the Edmonton Beauties ten six, then Ireland Pepe Tactics by a mercy rule, and then against the Fantasy twelve to four. So they're putting they're putting pucks to the net. They're able to hit it more times than not. We'll see if they can work with it here tonight. Of course, they had a mercy roll against the Mystic Spirits. Somehow, they were able to get that one on the board. But uh, yeah, during that matchup, it was a forfeit one. That's that's how, there. There you go. That's how that's how they lean with it. How they rock with it. And uh, yeah, now that I know that, my bet might be a little different here tonight. But uh, you know, we'll see what they got. We'll see if they can uh, if they can juice it. For, uh, for lack of a better term. But yeah, we got all five in the lobby for the Florida Freeze, so whenever Denver comes around for it, we'll, uh, I'll let you know whenever they roll into the lobby. Uh, just to make sure, I'm going to send Rat the, uh, the the lobby details. I don't have Rat as a friend on Discord. I don't know how to find this man. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. Yeah, I, I already have it to K-Man. K-Man's away on Discord, so I'm not sure if he sees it or not. But uh, you know, they know they got the game. Uh, Wade, Wade's pretty, pretty, pretty adamant on the uh, on the captaincy side of it. Love Wade. Um, yeah, whenever they roll in, they're probably just warming up. There's probably nothing to worry about. You know, people pub around, people scrim before the games just to keep themselves warm, get themselves ready, get them, get them in the mindset for uh, for a good slap shot game. And uh, Denver, probably no exception to that rule. So uh, if we do get to 945, then we'll start to raise a few questions. But until then, you know, uh, I'll just comp I'll just continue to ramble on as I as I see fit, um, as I normally do during these pregames. But uh, yeah, taking a look at uh, who does what for each of these teams for the Florida Freeze. Their main goal scorer coming out of the crease, 32 goals on eight games played. Bay, our first star of the week a few times around. Kazi has 16 on his eight games played. Jay Perks there with 10. Um, Bay just absolutely having a career high season. 32 goals, 20 assists, 51 shots. And uh, Frowny Brownie back between the pipes, stopping the majority of shots. Six blocks, 20 saves on a six games played. Might be in the starting lineup, in the starting cards for us tonight. It looks like it's going to be Frowny Brownie, Kazi, and Bay. So, uh, 
we have those those uh there's there's a little something to nerd on right there for the denver cutthroats that boy what up has scored 12 times on his 19 shots in his four games played um came in shortly behind him with four goals on his four games eight shots and then setting up for the defensive side is chris also known as smeggy with 22 saves four blocks five games played that's their defensive player right then and there. Of course, Rhett might be around. Rhett might not be. Well, all I know right now is Wade isn't here for this one. Dat Boy, Smeggy, joining the lobby. So now we just await on who's going to be number three. I've never watched Rhett. Rhett's been doing things. Rhett definitely plays slap shot. And it looks like K-Man's going to be the third man for the Denver Cutthroats. I've only heard the stories of Rhett. The man formerly known as Groovy. Yeah, we got six in the lobby. Six ready to rock. Six ready to roll. We're taking this one down to the guys for the first time here tonight uh, against the Denver Cutthroats on the left side and the Florida Freeze on the right. Those names are a little hard to read. We might switch that one up in the intermission, but for now, Dad Boy taking possession back for the Denver Cutthroats. Whips it down to the near side. Looking to get this one around town by Smeggy. Good stop there by Bay. Bay pull and weave and looking top side. Forehand pass. Not able to get that one through cleanly. Smeggy keeps that one wide off to the near side. Here's Kazi. Near side. Franny Brownie shooting. Nice save by that boy. Goes out. Scores. And Bay finds the first goal of tonight. One shot is all they needed. And they made it count. Franny Brownie to the crease. And that rebound control is second to none. It's 1-0 Florida here in the first. That boy taking his lead to the top side. Off the forehand. Good stop there by Franny Brownie with the first save for the Florida Freeze tonight. Came in. Paul is shooting. Nice save by Kazi. Keeps this one near side. Finds himself to the top side corner in his own defensive end. Sauced his way down to the near side. Franny Brownie off that back end. Tips his way towards the top side of the ice. Kazi low. Goes past Bay over to Smeggy. Smeggy here for the Denver Cutthroats. Pulling his way down the near side. Banks this one off the boards. Good stop by Franny Brownie. Looking for the weave toward, towards the top side. Hits that blue line. Good control by Bay. Back to Franny. Nice control by Dat Boy. Controlling that to the near side corner as he pulls his way down. Cutthroats looking to gain possession. Franny Brownie says no. Goes off of K Man at the top of the crease. Awarded the save. Comes back out to the neutral zone. Chips over to Dat Boy. Shoots. Scars. And they have a tie game. Three shots apiece, one goal apiece. And the Cutthroats find themselves on the board here in the first. Good way to stay in it. I Going into this, the stats tell me one story and one story alone, and that's Mercy Roll. And uh, so far this game, I don't feel it. I don't really don't feel it. I'm going to... The Caster's Curse is going to come out in like three seconds, but you know, nice shot, and there she is. The Freeze able to put it on, cooling it down. Sticking it out there, cold as ice. Backhand shot through the crease, finds its way through the Plinko machine and in. Florida Freeze up 2-1 here in the first, and I will be quiet. I'm sorry, Wade. Here's Smeggy with it down to the near side. Off that backhand, stopped by Bay. Came in here, pulls this one away for the boys in green. Kazi out the other way for the boys in blue. Off the forehand, pass over to Bay. Bay shoots, scars, and there's goal three on the board. A good pass out in front. Good control off the forehand. Barely out of the reach of Smeggy. Maybe if the stick was a little bit more 12 o'clock, that might have stopped it. But uh, I'm just an IM player, and uh, Slapshot is a foreign object to me. Wade says, we have a tendency to be fine through the first two periods, then fall apart during the third. We'll, we'll, I mean, we'll see. I mean, they look good so far. They're keeping the pressure alive. Dad boy has got a heavy stick down low. Finds the puck in his favor over to K-Man. K-Man, backhand, shooting. Nice save by Kazi. Out of the faceoff dot. Takes it off the panhandle. Back to the forehand. Backhand. Top side. Bay down in the corner. Back out to the point. Through the traffic and back into the Florida end. Where Kazi will pick it up. Kazi. Off the forehand. K-Man forces the retreat back over to Frowny Brownie. Franny Brownie near side, finds Bay. Bay off the backhand, stopped by Dat Boy. Dat Boy, what up? Taking this one towards the top side of the ice. Swings that one heavily into Smeggy's forehead. Smeggy pulling this one back down in the corner. Finds his way back out to the crease. Dumps this one down and in for the Denver Cutthroats. Here's Franny Brownie with it now, getting a step towards the top side of the ice. A forehand shot goes off Dat Boy. Dat Boy from his hip. Looking to take this one northways from the offensive near side corner. Kazi will take this one back for the Florida Freeze. Kazi weighs his options. Dat Boy says no. Kazi. Weighs his options. Bay on the top side, finding his way down to the near side over to Franny Brownie. Backhand shot sends his way wide off the near side by Dat Boy. Smeggy 
to K-Man. Nice stop by, uh, I think it was a double doink off Frowny, Brownie, and Kazi. Kazi first, of course. Bay top side for Florida. Taking this one north, they're up by two, looking to make it three here with this next drive. Kazi just doesn't want the puck, doesn't want to deal with it, doesn't want it entirely. Kazi coming back for it, though, thinking that maybe maybe he wants seconds. Who's to say? Goes out to the neutral zone. Frowny, Brownie here with control. Top side, banks this one over into the corner. Kazi pulls this one, looks for the forward pass. Not able to find any lane that is worthwhile. Bay, back over to Frowny. Frowny, what a dangle. Off Kazi, in the far side crease, and that's awarded the save to K-Man. Into the crease. In, I, that's a rough one. That's a rough one. Bay with a shot, scores off Kazi, and that will find its way through the traffic. Seven shots in. They've found four on the board here in the first. 120 to work with. Denver, possibly. They want two. Who doesn't want two? Two goals is a nice rounded sum. You can win, like, maybe a slap shot game with two. Um, it hasn't been done too often, but it happened tonight in the uh, the Cinnamon Bears in the Mafia game. Uh, Cinnamon Bears were not the victors on that one, unfortunately. Very low scoring game. Not not really the norm around um, slap shot, whichever the aspect. Smeggy on the top side, looking to wheel this one out and around. Kazi there applying that pressure for the Florida Freeze. Came in, gets it back for Denver. Kazi with a great takeaway, taking this one back off that backhand. Over to Bay, off the hip, over to Frowny Brownie. Top side, trying to dangle his way through Smeggy. Forehand pass, stopped away by Smeggy. Back between the hash marks. Here's Frowny Brownie down the near side, past Kazi, and out and around for the trip. Here's that boy. Top side, stopped by Bay with 30 seconds remaining here in the first period of a possible three. Kazi, top side, near side, wanting to find this wraparound. Bay just wreaking havoc back in the crease for Denver. Shot scores, and they have themselves the lead down to two. The Cutthroats finding a way to make their magic work for them here in the first, and they're, they're back in it. I feel there's a little momentum with that one. Came in trying to break the dry spell, and uh, we'll see if they can ride with it and maybe make a mountain out of a molehill tonight. Brownie Brownie near side. Kazi out in front with 10. Good handle there by Smeggy off that backhand. Chip scores, and there's another one. Seven goals into it. The gap's only one. Smeggy with a long distance shot from his own blue line. Finds the almost equalizer. Seven seconds remain. Anything can happen. Kazi with three. Dangle shoots. Almost. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I want to. Ah. Give me the milliseconds. That that was painful. I want to know how close it was. Ah. What's the ratio of keyboard, mouse, and controller players? I think they're all controller players. I could be wrong. Um, Wade's in the lobby for Denver. He's the captain. Um, Kazi's the captain of Florida. You guys are not all mouse and keyboard. I refuse to believe that. Do you guys live in Virginia? Except Bay. That's crazy. That's, that is, I don't believe you. I don't believe you for a second. You could pay me money and I still wouldn't believe you. Man, I, I really, I seriously don't, I don't, I don't trust that for a second. All right, well, six are ready to rock, six are ready to roll. We're back down on the ice for the second period of action. Everybody on the Florida side, quote unquote, plays with keyboard mouse. If you want to believe it, believe it. I, I, I'm i doubtful. I'm very doubtful. But I'll, I'll we'll, we'll ride with it. Playing with mouse and keyboard in this is like trying to send Morse code through a potato. Because um, sometimes the server just doesn't, you know, take your input quite as quickly. Um, the way you control the stick in your rotation is you move the mouse to the right to go um, clockwise. You move your mouse to the left to go counterclockwise. Meanwhile, controller, your right stick is just, where do you want the stick to go? You push the joystick that direction and you get it. Um, so because of that, stick checking is a lot harder for keyboard mouse. And uh, high ping is also way more um, enhanced, I'll say. The difference is there. I'll, I'll put it that way. Controller, you can mitigate a lot. But uh, mouse and keyboard, there's a lot of precision, precision involved. So uh, if you can play with it, I think it has a higher skill ceiling. That's my two cents. I don't think it's a lot of a skill ceiling, but yeah, I feel like you can be more accurate with your passing and shooting. Meanwhile, um, controller, you're more up close and personal because of your accuracy and what you can do and your strength because of it. 
But that is just the caster's two cents. My name's Darth. You can, you know who I am in the Discord. Here's Bay with a back in. Nice tra trap there. Goes off Khan. Khan taken to the ice for the first time tonight with J Perks. The only man staying on the ice is Bay. Um, Kazi and Franny Brownie sitting this one out for the second. They have the one goal lead. They're keeping the cycle alive. Their possession in time. Second to none right now. They're really feeling it out. They got a nice shot looking for the near side post. It was taken up. Smeggy there making sure to answer the door while uh, while the Florida Freeze were knocking. That boy top side. Smeggy looking to handle this one back down to the near side. Off the forehand. Stopped by Bay. Bay making a little havoc on the near side. Red line. Khan here with control. Going off his forehand. That boy. Khan. Khan to the top. It's nice stop by Smeggy. Smeggy with a bank pass looking for himself down the near side with 302 to work with here in the second years. K-Man with it. Bay off the backhand from the forehand. Finds Khan. Khan rolling back. Wait says the only reason I play keyboard mouse is because Slap 1 had it before controller. And that's the same reason I play mouse and keyboard. I feel like that's that's the primary suspect there. Um, Slap 1 did have controller support after a while, but originally I don't think it had it up until like maybe Season 4 of SPL back in the day. Um, yeah. That would That is eight seasons ago. J Perks on the top side, fed back out to the point. Connor with a shot stopped by K-Man. Nice control by Big, making it a little bit more difficult. Smeggy, that boy, fans on the forehand. Takes that control corner to corner, back out to K-Man at the far side point. K-Man, challenged by Perks. J Perks. The man that's been muted for over a year. I don't know if he's still muted or not, but he has been muted as long as I've known the man, and he's been in the league for quite some time. That boy in the near side point, pushing this one down forward for Denver. Kant, top side, bait for Florida. Top side, out to Jay Perks at the point. Good control there by K-Man. K-Man, the former Ottawa drinker, scoring! Oh, Kant off the top side. Jumping his way down off the top ropes. Came in, fumbles it. Great pick there by Bay. And Con there to sweep it under the rug. Five for Florida, three for Denver. Here in the first, just under two minutes remaining here in this middle chapter. And the boys play on. Jay Perks getting the step in. That was off the post and off the near side. Denver hoping for a little puck luck there, just not quite grabbing it. Came in, looking to handle this one way off that backhand. Jay Perks getting a piece of this one off to the near side. The race is on. Backhand pass out in front. Smeggy shoots, scores! And Denver's back on the board to make it 4-5. to five. Denver taking a chunk out of the pie home with them tonight. Will it be enough? That boy. Down to the near side, came in. Throws that one back out the other way. Here's Jay Perks down in their own zone. Bank pass over to Khan. Khan here for the Florida Freeze out of the zone. Finds his way to Bay. Bay back out to the point. Khan pulling, shooting. Nice save by Smeggy and out of the zone. Came in with an empty four by six. Shoot scars and we're tied. Where there was an opportunity one way. Uh, whopper, 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 something. Something I don't. I thought it'd be funny. I don't know. That's that's just me. We're here for a good time, not for a great time. Florida freeze. Denver cutthroats tied at fives. Con. Top side, looking to do some hockey. He didn't do any hockey, but Smeggy's looking to do hockey now. Down off the near side. Smeggy fakes out Bay. Bay throws it down low and says, "Do it again." I dare you. I double dare you. Double dog, dare you. Smeggy topside finds his way to that boy. That boy out in front, just out of the reach of K-Man. K-Man from the back end. Weaves his way back out in front. Perks there, awarded the save. And he'll control it down to the near side. Out of the zone. Here's K-Man. Shooting! Nice save by Khan. Khan back at his own end boards. Finds his way topside over to Bay. Bay over to Jay Perks. Shooting! Off the near side and wide. Barely. Just wants a mulligan. I've... Man. Another crack at the cheese, perhaps. Came in with a good shot. Nice stop by Khan. Ten seconds remain here in the second. J Perks back down low to Khan. Khan off the forehand. Over to J Perks. Three seconds. Two and one. And that will be it for the second. We're tied at the end of two. A lot of shots were made, but nobody has the lead. The igloo is placed to many dreams. Some ought to be broken. Twelve shots to eight. The Florida Freeze getting the better side of the offensive but not the better side of the goals. Denver's defense coming out in a big way. Smeggy having the majority of the saves. Um, yeah, there we go. I thought ahead. How about them apples? What a wild time to be alive. Six ready to rock, six ready to roll. The original six back on the ice to finish off this game. Here we go. 
Florida Freeze right side in the blue. Denver Cutthroats left side in the black and the green. Pucks drop. The final five is underway. Bay handles this one back to Frowny Brownie. Back out to Bay. That boy causing a little havoc off his backhand on the far side wall. Not able to pull that one through the traffic cleanly. Came in. Back pass over to Smeggy. Smeggy off the near side finds Came in. Came in with a lengthy pass back to Smeggy. Kazi. That boy. Brownie Brownie here collects his thoughts. Near side over to Kazi. Kazi shooting off the end wall. Back over to Smeggy. Smeggy off the back end. Bay! Not able to get a hold of it in time. Kazi keeps possession back for Florida. Florida having the better side of the possession time so far today. Uh, looking to rack that one up while it counts. Bay. Back on the defensive side. Sends it back for Frowny Brownie. Good handle out to Kazi. Kazi off the forehand, not able to get it to go. Nice control by Smeggy over to uh, K-Man. Here's Willie Nylander. Smeggy, nice stop by Kazi. Back over to Frowny Brownie. Dad boy with a step, shoot, scores! And they have the lead first time tonight. The Denver Cutthroats get it done. And Burger King's calling. Will they pick it up? Great positioning, great, great formation to try to have a chance at the shot. And uh, when opportunity came a knocking, Denver did not miss it. That boy looking to handle this one down the near side over to Smeggy. Smeggy here for Denver, just taking the time. You know, there's not a whole lot of rush for Denver to uh, force the passes in this matchup. They have the one goal lead. They got a lot of time to try to grow it to two. Florida. Has a lot of time to try to even this one up. Kazi, pull, shoots off the post, top side. Good control there by Dad Boy, getting the tip of the stick to keep the puck underneath the goal line. Bay controlling, back down low to the sender, Kazi. Kazi, the captain of the Florida Freeze. Off the forehand, out in front, nice shot, hits the post, and that pings off the top side and out. Smeggy there keeping short, gets to the uh, gets to the boards. Came in there with a chop out of the zone. Here's Kazi with it, near side over to Frowny Brownie. Back over to Kazi, back at the trapezoid. That's not there. But imagine it was. That's where it would be. Bay fighting for it. Kazi picks it up. Shoots this one down north way. Smeggy here with a slow rolling puck. Looks to the top side. Almost hits the panhandle. Would have been fabulous. Haven't seen one of those in a hot second. Here's Frowny. Brownie with it now for the Florida Freeze. Off to the near side. Just out of the reach of Kazi. Make sure making sure it gets out the full two under. Frowny body pulls. Top side. Finds its way over to Bay. Bay with a cycle back out to the point. Brownie with a shot. Nice save by K-Man. Off the body between the hash marks. Here's that boy, what up? Looking for the passing lane, top side. Good pinch down low for the Florida Freeze. Came in, Bay, Brownie Brownie getting involved alongside, I believe that was Dat Boy. Dat Boy getting the, the few initial stick checks. Finds the puck loose down to the near side. Smeggy keeps this one low for Denver. Smeggy near side, wanting to hold on to the first win of the season. Good try by the uh, by the net by Kamen. But the puck just, uh, the wind was a little too strong. Everybody in the audience just blowing on it. Forcing it off tracks. Brownie, Brownie, top side, off the wall. Kazi pulls, off the base, shoots, scores! What composure, what poise, and we're tied at sixes late in the third. 158 to work with. Kazi almost had the shot. Smeggy with good physicality, just not enough to get back in time for the shot by Bay. And Bay's reactions is like a feline. We're back tied, six apiece here in the third. And with a minute 50 remaining, the tunnel is closing. Who's gonna make it out alive? Brownie Brownie, over to Bay, back over to Kazi. Kazi to the near side, finds Frowny Brownie with it now. Here's the Florida Freeze with the attack, finding Bay. Bay with a forehand, goes off Smeggy, back down low. Smeggy, out of the zone. Florida Freeze wanting the second place treats all to themselves in the Challenger Division, our second highest division in the Slapshot Premier League out of the four. I guess we have five, but the West Division is kind of its own thing. Separate from the main division, or the main league. Kazi lost. That boy shoots, scores! And the Denver Cutthroats are back on top. 7-6 to six with a minute 10 remaining here in the third. A fumbled pass by Kazi, costing them dearly here late in the third period of action. They have a lot of time to make up for it. One minute and slap shot feels like an eternity. Will they be able to pull it back? This next drive might answer it. Brownie Brownie here to head it up. 60 seconds to go. Bay off the backhand. Down to the near side. Here's Kazi with it. Kazi with a chip towards the cage. Goes off the side of the netting. That boy picking up the loose pieces. Dumps this one down and in. Here's Franny Brownie to the near side. Kazi off the forehand. Bay pulls. Shoots off the near side and barely wide. Kazi out in front. 
Bay with a backhand. Goes off his hip over to Franny Brownie. Brownie with a shot. Goes off. Came in. Dad Boy with a chip towards the cage. Will be wide. Franny Brownie making sure it does so. Dad Boy with a great takeaway. Backhand chance down low to came in. Came in off the backhand. Looks for a pass corner to corner. 30 seconds remain here in the game. Kazi shooting off the near side. And that goes wide. Kazi back to the top side. Dat Boy down to the near with 19 and ticking. Brownie Brownie getting a piece. Smeggy keeps this one north. Came in, looking to just rag it along the boards, holding on to the win at however they possibly can. Bay came in, came in, shoots off the near side, goes over to Smeggy. Smeggy out in front. Bay with a save. Four seconds remain. Three. Bay with a pass. Kazi almost able to walk away with it. So close, but not quite. And the Denver Cutthroats walk away with a 7 6 victory. Man. They took the most of their opportunities. If it's open, let's hit it. The Denver Cutthroats staying alive like the Bee Gees in that one and getting rewarded handsomely for it. 13 shots to 10. Florida had the better side of it, but it was not enough to outdo the Denver defense. Seven saves for the boys in green, and those were the ones that uh, fit the bill, if you will. 108 passes in only nine times. According to the stats, was it taken off a blue stick in that matchup? 108. There's three numbers in that, in that whatever. Two, 230 with possession time. They did a good job with that. Five players playing for the Florida Freeze. Two goals from Kazi. One from Khan. Three from Bay to make up their total of six. That boy had a hat trick. Came in with two. Smeggy with one for the Denver seven. Um... Yeah, nobody really had an outstanding night in net. Smeggy had three crucial saves, came in uh, doubling that. Um, yeah, Kazi had a great offensive game, five points on the night, five shots and a save. Um, that's that's really, that's, that's all the more analysis there is to do on this screen. I need to set up one for blocks, takeaways, turnovers, because I feel like that'd be more interesting to look at than just the base four that we had back in slap one. But uh, yeah, Denver pulling out a huge game there. I did, I, I'm going to be honest, I had my doubts. I had faith in K-Man. I've known K-Man a long time, all the way back in the Ottawa Drinker days. Back, I think season one of Rebound and Onward, they've played at least some of them throughout the league. Um, the Cincinnati Banshees had a few of them in their midst. Um, yeah, good game for both sides. That was entertaining. That's a, good, that's a good challenger matchup right there. Kept it close. 13 goals were had, seven of them from Denver. And uh, that will be the end of that story here tonight. Um, but yeah, thank you for tuning into the SPL Network. We'll be back with one more game tonight. Coming up next, it's the Okinawa Generations. It's the Hanover Ham Hoggers in our last match of tonight. We get about 30 minutes to burn before the drop of that puck. So uh, go get something to drink. We'll be back waiting for you here on the SPL Network. My name is Darth. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be right back with more Slapshot action in a moment.